Oh no. I've always worried that I've recorded one of these and oh, it's going. Okay. 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 And then I get to the end and I find out it hasn't been recording. Okay. Um, Sonier? Sonier. Sonier. Okay. Sonier. All right, we'll, we'll edit this out in post. Jay McCullough reporting live from the courtyard here. It's a lovely afternoon in the shade. I'm Beautiful. joined with Noelle Saunier. It's, hello. Uh, it's French, you said? French, French Canadian. French Canadian. Yes. So, hello to all of our French. Is that not how you say it? I you say bonjour. Bonjour to all of our French. friends from Quebec. Um, this is a special episode. I've uh, asked Noelle to be here. She is a, a big Seltzer fan. And this episode was actually requested by one Lee Tangham, who in my egg, re egg review video, uh, Egg Sandwiches, said, it's almost summer, can you work in some seltzer? So not with the egg sandwiches, but I think we'll deliver here. We got a, we got a great lineup in store for you, but first, we're, it's, a, it's a bit hungry here. It's a little bit afternoon. Tough time getting the kids a nap. Mm. I mean, they just don't want to go to sleep. Um, but that's someone else's problem now. Um, Noelle, as I mentioned, long-term seltzer fan. Can you describe this device behind us? Oh, this is a soda stream. A soda stream. Uh, it's not top of the line. It's a good mid-range model. Mid-range model, yeah. okay. Takes um, a CO2 cartridge, right? Takes a CO2 okay. cartridge, you put it in the back, and you, do you want me to do it now? No, we'll get to we'll, it. We'll, we'll get, get to it. it. But I just but little coming attractions here. This is a this is pretty intense. It's a good on-demand seltzer. When you need it, you got it. Seltzer any time of day. Any morning, time of night. day. Okay, excellent. Um, let's open up with some fiores. Okay. Uh, so I was taking over Noelle's lunch break here, and I wanted to give her give her something to make make the trip out here. Uh, so fiores, what's the Monday special? You're familiar with the Monday special. This is the Virginia ham. Virginia ham. That's right. Yes. With the, they call it the gravy. It's a mustard sauce. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's no Thursday, but it's good. It is. I, I enjoy Fridays myself. I'm a big tuna guy. With the tuna? I, mentioned, I like the tuna. You know, like I've the tuna. never tried the tuna. I'm intimidated by the tuna. Okay. But uh, okay. this is a, it's a good portion. This is a homemade ham they make, and this is only on Mondays. Uh, and the gravy sauce is actually really good. Abundant. Uh, popular Mary Ellen, my mom, loves this stuff. And uh, would you like one? Would you like your half now? Okay, yes. <laughs> she's, she's working the camera here. Uh, just making sure the tripod doesn't tip over. Quite an ordeal. We're using three tables here just to set this, this episode up. Full production. Um, so is this the, other than Friday, what else haven't you had at Fiore's? Everything. You, you've uh, had I, everything else? No, like I don't have, I go oh. in on my Thursdays. Oh, just I get Thursdays my special oh, okay, and my Yoohoo and that's and it. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever had the, the half of the soft? I have not. Do you want to try some of the soft? Or are you, are you set on the, the long roll? This is the Dom's long roll. I think I like the long roll. Okay. All right. So let's just get some, oh, these won't be first impressions for you because you've had this before, you said. It's been a while. It's been a while, but you've yes. had this before. Okay. Well, gravy is not as gratuitous as you might get on Thursday. Do you dunk when, they, when you get the roast beef? Do you just have them dunk the whole sandwich? Or you get the gravy to uh, take it home? Oh, I have them dunk, yeah. Okay. They're if anything, they could be more. I could, use, I could use more gravy. Okay. I like having left over that stuff. It doesn't go back, you turn it into a soup. Wow. Use it as a, I mean, because it is, it is basically a Jew. Yeah. Ooh, got some vegetables. Maybe you got a stew going. Just throw them yeah. in there and throw them in the pot. That's delicious. It's really salty. This is good. I love it. It's great. So if you want to get some more bites in, but mm -hmm. in the interest of time, I don't think everyone wants to eat this watch you do a sandwich, but I'm going to put this tape for later. Uh, so mm -hmm. if you're at Fiori's any day except Sunday, stop by, see what's cooking over there. Uh, so we got our glassware from, uh, this was either West Elm or Crate and Barrel. I mixed them up. They're basically interchangeable in my mind. And we're gonna start off with some seltzers. So we've got, this is the, the stuff I grew up with, vintage seltzer. I think they changed the, uh, can we get a judge's ruling from my mom? Is this the original packaging for seltzer? No, it was a darker blue, and it had used to have a little oh. fizz container. Right, it used to have a little spritzer, the, the old style. Oh, that's old. Yeah, uh, those <laughs> bottles probably no longer have any carbonation in them. But this one just picked up from ShopRite in Hoboken. Now, I'm gonna keep an open mind. Okay, have you But vintage is by far superior. This is my favorite seltzer. This is your favorite seltzer. This is my go-to. I'm happy to have selected this because yeah. there was a whole spectrum of seltzers and I didn't yeah. want to get like, there's the ones that are already mixed with flavors. I wanted to go pure, pure seltzer here. No, and even our friend Matthew Gocek sent okay. me a link a few, like I think it was about a year ago, where they did a blind seltzer tasting and this one blind out. Seltzer. I gotta watch that footage. Yeah. Okay, I had It no was idea. against this and the blue fancy one that's like the Saratoga. So, the, oh, the high end fancy. one okay. and the vintage beat out. That's good to hear. Superior. Uh, now, I didn't want to just load up on all seltzers because it's, it's really just carbonated water here. So I didn't want to get a little bit of a more interesting spectrum. Club soda. Club soda. Which I believe has a little bit of sodium in it. So the mm. seltzer water has no sodium. And this is more like, I think it's sodium added, uh, potassium bicarbonate. Okay. Um, but this is kind of mimicking the mineral water that, and then we got the San Pellegrino here. Mm. And I was looking up in, in ShopRite, I was, I was like, do I, want to, I want to do one glass bottle seltzer. And uh, Perrier versus San Pellegrino, I think a lot of people prefer San Pellegrino. 
This is Hoboken, a lot of Italians running around. True. It seemed appropriate. So no offense to French Canadians. Um, and then Topo Chico is a new, I've never had this before. It's a cult favorite. I've heard good things. Yes, I, yes. I heard it's a cult favorite. I don't know yes. why. So maybe we'll find I don't out. know. It's not widely available and people, it's not your go-to. It's not like you're going to be at a restaurant. So I, I'd like some Topo. This was from Maz Gourmet. Uh, used to be Sabzi's Produce. A uh, buck seventy-nine for this little thing. And I didn't feel as bad as when I accidentally bought Haritos seltzer once. It was basically unflavored Haritos. Really? Uh, tamarind sodas. You've had Haritos before. Yeah, the taco place yeah. up on ice. Excellent, excellent stuff there. But I wouldn't... I didn't know they made no a seltzer. seltzer. No, no. It's like getting diet, diet cane sugar, boilings. We talked about this. <laughs> Just don't do it. But Topo Chico, they, this, is, this is bottled in Mexico, Monterrey, Mexico. And I think it's uh, it has some original carbonation, actually, from the source. Oh. And they add some more. Natural. Which I believe the, uh, the San Pellegrino might be all uh, natural CO2 added. Natural mm. mineral water, natural CO2. So this is not carbonated from the source. Okay. I don't know. But down in Mexico, they somehow got natural bubbles. There you go. Okay, so what would you like to start with, Noel? I don't know. Is this like a fine wine? Do you start from low carbon so to high? We can, uh, I, I think we should save the Topo Chico okay. for a little bit. Okay. Um, but maybe we'll crack open with the vintage and see if it's as good as you remember. I get start as as strong. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just put these back into the, the cooler. Thank you, Aunt Michelle, for the leftovers. Sent us home with a cooler. We're just doing double duty today. Okay. So okay. vintage seltzer. Should we shake it up a little to get the fizz? No. No. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> but we're going to crack it open right in front of it. Just get the audio. That's a good, that's a good pop. That's what we like to do with the Pringles videos. If you've seen any of those, we like to do the pop on the Pringles Ooh. video. So this is the best thing I could do with seltzer. Yeah. Uh, so we didn't need ice here. These were chilling since this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do gentle pours here. You're welcome to have more. We're gonna have way too much seltzer after the end of this video. No such thing. And right off the bat, it's good bubbles. It's a high fizz. Do you like this fizz more than what you're doing at home here? Is this like, does this come close to, or would you say it, this is gonna be the best, maybe? You see, the thing with the so stream is you measure how much you want. So you could do a okay. low fizz or a high fizz. And that's fizz. what these three... Yes. Okay. So, so it's kind of like cooking where you measure with your heart. Or you're low, medium, high fizz. Oh, I'm extra high. Extra high fizz. I go off. I go off. Okay. So this is... This, this is, is a middle good... Middle fizz? This is good middle yeah. fizz. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if I didn't if like I didn't care about the environment and would just like go through bottles and cans, I would buy vintage all day. Oh, there's a carbon this footprint is... involved with the... It's very low. It's refills, though. It's refills. Okay. Yeah, Not I'm as saying... bad as the plastic involved in... Yeah. I mean, I if I would just go through, I would get that, but... Okay. Smells like water, so I'm just gonna skip the, the, the notes there. Good mouthfeel. Good mouthfeel. Would mom like some mm. seltzer? Okay. Yeah, so just just collecting the sun rays. We're in the shade here for lighting purposes, um, but my, my mom just catches some sun rays there. Some vitamin D is it? It's got a great tingle. I like the tingle. It's mm -hmm. a nice tingle. It's like a mid tongue tingle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get that. Mm -hmm. And day. it's got the. Um, the bubbles change shape. I feel. Okay. If you slosh around your mouth, they, they right. get they get they get more. Let me just get a little bit fun. more. I'm just going back and forth with the tongue here. I don't recommend you drink seltzer this way, but just for the purposes of this, this analysis, mm. it's good. There's a, there's more depth here, and it's you can see it's still. I mean, for something that this is, I believe, like eighty nine cents. It's a great um, deal. It's a great deal. You can't go wrong with no. vintage seltzer. Thank you. Um, okay, so let's move on to the next one. I'll just put this back in the cooler for later. And uh, let's shift over to the club soda. Okay. So Schweppes, um, the two big contenders, I think, in the club soda and what tonic waters. There's Schweppes yeah. and there's another one. Seagrams or Seagrams, yeah. Uh, is there another brand that I'm missing, Mom? No. Okay. So Schweppes, uh, Seagrams was another option. Uh, this this had the older date, 1783. Ooh. Uh, I didn't know they had plastic bottles back then. But uh, this is basically seltzer, but you got a little bit of potassium in it, okay. some potassium bicarbonate. So this is, I believe, would be used at a bar. If you get like a scotch and soda, okay. or if you're not drinking at all and you just find yourself in a bar and you just want some soda or some grenadine, is that a Shirley Temple? I don't know. No, My mom doesn't get the sauce for you. Ginger ale is the grenadine. Ginger ale. Yeah. Oh, ginger ale and grenadine, that's a Shirley, Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple, okay. yeah. Right. So the Shreps Club Soda, let's get this open on camera here. Oh, oh, look at those bubbles. That was like a low fizz, though. That was like, a low fizz. It was fizz. a build. Not as much as you're getting as, so I'm thinking this is maybe not as. It's going to be maybe a different mouthfeel than the. I'm interested to so. see if there's going to be a flavor. I think. I think you, you know, might with a little. Some, but it's going to maybe be artificial compared to what we're going to get okay. at the sample of okay. so Let's see. Okay. This is another good fizz. It's a good fizz. Not as precocious. I don't know if that's the right word to use as the. As the yeah. Message, but. Slightly different nose on that. Yeah. Or maybe it's the minerals. No, you get all something. It's sharper. You get, you get the sharpness? There's like a little tinge to it. There is. I don't know yeah. if I would drink this straight, but it's, I mean, it's still delightful. Yeah. It's refreshing. 
It definitely has something to it. I want to say it goes in the mouth. It goes flatter sooner. Do you get that? Yes, like the, the bubbles the go away. Are, yeah. You got that. The bubbles are hanging out and they're yeah. changing shape. And this guy's like bubbles, and you're done. Well, even when you see it come to the top, the bubbles just kind of pop. I feel like with the vintage, yeah. it was the vintage was more of a put together product. Mm. In that sense. But maybe this is what you want for mixing with drinks. So maybe the vintage. You wouldn't want that with it, but this for a scotch yeah. or soda, maybe this works better. But it definitely has a flavor. It does have a flavor. It does. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I had, I had a Schweppes big actually in Hong Kong. Um, really? I believe there was a Schweppes cream soda. I want to say, which is a bit hard to get here, uh, but I had a Cantonese friend and an old employer, and he recommended if I could find it, I was able to get get some at a local store. And so Schweppes has a big lineup that we don't have access to in America. Schweppes oh. is an international brand here. I use a lot of the Schweppes tonic for my gin and tonics. Oh, you're a Schweppes, okay. It's pretty solid, I've tried it's good. Uh, I have, I've used that once, and then Fever Tree is always great. Yes. Now, I feel that's like the Topo Chico of tonic. Yes, it's like. the high end if you're gonna get like fancy, but for your Wednesday night gin and tonic, yeah. Schweppes is good. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and I, I think it's important to, I like to get it in the small cans, because you open a big bottle like this, unless you're, unless you're yeah. pounding down gin and tonics, I don't know how your Fridays are. But I, maybe one or two. So no, but yet again, work. you want that bubble. So yes. when you get that big one, you cut like gin and tonic number three. It's flat. So you yes. got to get those the little, little cans. The yeah. little cans. And recyclable, endlessly recyclable. I feel better than the plastic. Uh, so let's go. Speaking of uh, high okay. end here, I didn't. We didn't get the Lacroix seltzer, and I know that's a big fan favorite. For maybe a, I don't know if you call it a cult following. It's basically the avocado toast of seltzer. I say it's Very, bougie. It is bougie. It was. I remember when it was like it was new mm -hmm. a few years ago. Yeah. And now it's just like you find it everywhere and. I didn't buy it from the supermarket, thanks to shrinkflation. They're charging just as much for eight cans as they did for 12. And I said, you know, I would eventually drink these, but I felt that. I'm, yeah. They're cheating me on four cans, I know it. It's like, now, the, yeah. I wondered, is it the LaCroix or LaCroix? Like, if we're going French. You're French Canadian. That's so what I'm saying. I feel you. like it is should it, be LaCroix, but LaCroix. 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 So there you have it, Noel correcting me. French Canadian. It's LaCroix. <laughs> LaCroix. I mean, it's for the lay people, so they're going to say LaCroix. It is. There. Yeah. Yes. It's probably the BuzzFeed articles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the San Pellegrino, I didn't put this up to the camera, but there's, 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 no, no, audible, there's no audible, there's no fizz here. Uh, so I'm, maybe I'm expecting a little bit less of, someone's got to order these plants here. Yep. I don't know where the maintenance crew is. Uh, so San Pellegrino, we're, we're in Hoboken, I mentioned. This is bottled at the source San Pellegrino Terme in Bergamo, Italy. That's a place. Maybe it's Bergamo, I don't know. Um, so let's try this guy. And notice we're not doing palate plungers here because it it's, it's more. Itself. It's more. Oh, it yeah. is itself. It's seltzer, it's a natural palate cleanser. Okay, so the bubbles, is, they're it's, tiny, they're there, but. I'm trying not to be too prejudiced with this because I mean, this is like my desert island seltzer. Like if I have nothing else to drink, you just I, have bottles I guess I'll drink this. Because it, indefinitely it'll probably keep the carbonation in this bottle. It's pretty. I know, but it's, mm. There's now, nothing there. Yeah, bubbles, <laughs> no, but I'm saying flavor. <laughs> I like the flavor. Okay. <clears throat> you get the minerals? Certainly more than the club soda. Like this has a, this, this water has a flavor. Really? You're not picking up it? <laughs> so speaking of water with flavor, I'm assuming you're using filtered Hoboken water for this. Uh, I go through a Brita. Okay. I don't use it out of the tap. Okay. Yep. And but my, my, the volume I drink, I could okay. not just get like bottles of water to go through here. It would just, that would be too wasteful. It's too wasteful. Okay. Okay. So I use a Brita at least. Okay. I, I tend to like Hoboken water and people say it's a hard water. I grew up on hard water. Mm. I've been out in West Jersey, soft waters where you, you take a shower and it's you spill. You got so yeah. So that's what I want to drink. I don't want to drink the soft stuff. I want to drink. The I mean, stuff. you saw my old apartment that's a hundred years old. Yes, I yes. wouldn't trust those pipes. And that's it's those are some questionable okay. pipes. I mean, it's okay. Like it's as bad. as so, like I enjoy where, where the bubbles go. I'm just like, saying the, the bubbles, bubbles are gone. They're we've, gone. We've been cheated. We've been fleeced. This okay. is like seltzer that's been open for three hours. That's what you're paying. Oh, that is a criticism. You, we opened it right on camera. So maybe maybe there was a defect? You but think look, we, no, no, I think it's no, just it that's what bottle. Pellegrino is. Like, okay. look, hold the bottle up. Look okay. inside. What do you see? So we're just going to oh, shake it. Oh, you're going to shake it. Great. No, look at that. That's There's nothing a fizz. That's just, it's, it's a fizz, but I expected like, so if we do this no. with the, sorry, you might want to back up here. I, why would you do this? Let's just take the club soda because that's, I'm, I'm willing to let this go. But this club soda, I don't know if this is, <laughs> Okay, so maybe you got to okay. do it on the first. Okay, all right. So then, maybe I'm just not shaking as strong as I think I am. Uh, so moving on. So we got the Topo Chico here, and I guess we'll save the soda stream for last because we got a special guest yes. joining us in a bit. I don't want to spoil the surprise there. And Topo Chico, do I have my keys with me? I think I do. Uh, Hoboken Grace keychain, actually. Oh goody! Yeah, replaced my fraternity keychain, and 
Same form factor. Oh, that's that's a good Ooh. fizz here. Yeah, and remember, this is the natural carbonation with. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's gone. It's gone already. So it was short lived, but it sounded nice. It sounded nice. Is, uh, is this chilled appropriately? Oh, that's a nice. Yeah, chill. I'll let you pour this one. Oh no. It looks like a good fizz. It's got a good fizz. It's good sound. It sounds. I was nice. gonna say ASMR. This so is maybe a lovely. Maybe showmanship at a cocktail bar. You want to crack this open because the patrons will be like, "Ooh, it sounds great." Yeah. Okay. Good bubbles. Good bubbles. Not getting a nose. Not like the San Pellegrino. It's interesting though that there's not a big bubble in here, but when it hits your tongue, do, it's it sharp. kind of it, it it's explodes sharp. a little. Yeah, on the tongue. This is probably the closest to the vintage that we've had so far. Yes. And I, I like the effervescence of this. I think this is just a strict upgrade from uh, club soda. I think if you're in a bar, this would go great with mm -hmm. the drinks. This is a nice one. I just think it's not as available. It, no, as yeah, your vintage? I, this is probably one or two places in Hoboken I could have gotten mm -hmm. this. And um, Maz Gourmet, they also have the, that's that's where I previously had bought the Oshi, those strawberries, those bougie strawberries. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I noticed they're not selling them anymore. They still have the fridge, but they, they gave up on them. They're just putting regular berries in there. <laughs> so, I mean, Hoboken, clearly not the demographic that wants to pay $5 a strawberry. Nope. This is nice. I like the Topo. Yeah, I think, I think after we're done with this whole panel, we'll come back to it. I, I think we will easily put down this bottle. Oh, easily. Yeah, this is, this is good. This will go yeah. nicely with the sandwich. And um, let's do the soda stream. Okay, great. And uh, I'm not going to throw this out. This is the Topo Chico. Yeah. It's too good. Can this is probably five cents worth of salsa right here. So there's a little left over. That's a bottle there. deposit for you right there. Okay. Okay, so you want to take us through, how does this machine work? So, and is this already in, imbibed with carbonation? Or there's a little bit because I filled it, I was probably about this way through, and then I just topped it off to bring it here. Okay. So there's a little left. So as you see in the back, this is where the CO2 goes. Okay. Oh, narrow bottle there. Okay. Just now, right can you there. inflate this into, can you use this for other purposes, like whipped cream? Is this like an ASI whipper thing? Or that's, that's, that's not, not my carbonation. World. No, okay. I, that's a, I mean. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Someone might do that. Okay, this but... is not a whippet situation. No. This is carbonation. That's not what they use for the little, um, like, little whipped cream. Because you could do all sorts of stuff. They might. It. Okay. I, you know. This is why I don't have. This is my one trick you. pony. You know, okay. this is what it does. Um, and then you just take your little bottle. Okay. So you, could, if it goes flat, you could just re re add carbonation to it. So, Soda Sense. I'm okay. going to plug that website. Soda Sense is okay. great. Tips. They have tips. What? It's um, a mailing program. Oh, okay. So I have about three canisters of CO2. Okay. And when I run out of two, I send it in a box. Like a propane tank. It, yeah. Everyone... I used to use good old Bed Bath & Beyond, but okay. coronavirus, when oh, okay. the thing shut oh, down. Oh, you would go there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. When coronavirus shut down, I was like, what am I going to do? A friend told me about SodaSense. It's a great way. You mail in the CO2. They mail you new ones in about three days, so you're never without. It's like Netflix from 15 years ago, except you're getting the same DVDs in the mail every week. But they're new. I they love they it. rewind it for you. It's the best. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna fizz this up for yeah, us. So what are we gonna do for the? You wanna do all three? Oh, I go above. Oh, let's go above. Let's I go, go above. So you start. What? Look at this action here. Wow. And as you see, the lights start going. I do a couple pumps. It tells you when to stop. Oh, it knows the pressure. Yes. Got it. Okay. What? When a, you see it release. That's really cool. And you pull forward. Even if you don't like seltzer, just get entertain your friends with these things. And seltzer. Okay, so let's, it's got a little, it's, it's chilled already. I it's see it's some good, yep. Okay, and it's interesting. This is, now if we, if we get this little shake, we'll get a little fizz on. Sure. Oh, and I can do it it's again. Great. Oh, you're not <laughs> getting ending. this from the other cells. And if you ending. do this too much, you just put it back in. You get some soda stream. It's wow. the gift that keeps on giving. Okay, I'm usually against one, one roll uh, of kitchen appliances. Mm -hmm. And this is clearly a very definition of, this does one thing. But it does it. It does. Well. It does it, it does perfectly. It well. So if you really like seltzer, maybe this is where you should be. Yeah. Seltzer is my primary beverage. Okay. Oh, just during the day. Yeah. If I'm drinking flat water, I'm at the gym. When we were Other in the office, that, we had bevy machines, and I would often get the seltzer machines at the office, mm -hmm. and that's uh, again is going to tie into our upcoming guest here. So let's pour out some of this. Okay. And so this is Hoboken Brita filtered water. Mm-hmm. So if the water tastes bad, it's kind of your fault or your municipality. Take that up. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Good bubbles. Good bubbles. Good bubbles. Yeah, I, not surprised considering the what we just saw there. So yeah, again, this is on fire on your tongue. This, this, the this bubbles, is beyond the vintage. This is this is bubbles overload. But it is also your choice. We could have stopped at one, and that would be like our Pellegrino. I guess so. If there's too many bubbles, that's probably also your fault. Yeah. Or your municipality. Yeah. Measure with your heart. But that also means I go through these CO2 cans. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just want to point out, I, I didn't fake that. This is the first seltzer. We've been drinking seltzer for the last, camera's probably rolling for 15 minutes now. 
That was the first natural burp I've had. So that gives you an indication of, are you burping a lot during the day? All day. All day long. All day. <laughs> but it's a work from home, right? No so, one else is seeing it. Exactly. It's just me. But yeah, this is. And I think this is what we're going to use for our, to wrap things up here, very special thing. Uh, Ronnie Brook Farms, also from Maz Gourmet, they do this. This is top of the line, probably some of the best milk you'll get in Hoboken. Used to get this in Chelsea Market. Okay. Um, from, I forget what the store was called. And uh, we used to, I used to order these. I used to work on the West Side Highway over by Chelsea Golf Place. And I amassed, uh, so these have a, a $2 deposit for these. Oh. Uh, so Maz Gourmet, they'll charge you a little bit extra for you. You bring it back, no questions asked, they give you two bucks. Uh, I had about 10 of these that I would just leave on my desk to, as like a memento. Yeah. And I figured it was kind of like, an, so at one point they raised the deposit from a buck fifty to two bucks. So I had capital gains on my milk bottle deposits. And before I left, when, when that job inevitably went out of business, as startups often do, uh, I cashed them in and uh, walked home with about 20 bucks in my pocket. Look at that. Which today is probably worth nothing thanks to inflation. <laughs> Um, but Ronnie Brook Farms, every now and then I get this as a treat. Um, too good for the too good for the little kid. She doesn't okay. appreciate this yet. So this is like a whole milk? Is this, this is like whole a... milk. This is beyond whole milk. This is cream line. It's whole milk and it's got the cream on top. Oh goodness. So uh, I don't know, I should remember this, the ratio approximately I think for a we're gonna do egg creams right now. Yep. And I told you about this. I want to make sure you're very on board. excited. Uh, I'm in it. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Seltzer, wow. Okay, so um, we got our trusty uh, OXO measuring cup here. This this episode brought to you by OXO and Soda Sense. Mm -hmm. Soda Sense. And uh, additionally, uh, we mentioned this in a previous episode. We had Hershey's in the fridge. I went out and got some Ubek. You if bet. you're making egg creams, and they used to have a, they used to actually have a recipe for egg cream. I mean, they are on the front here, but they used to actually tell you how much to put in. Oh. Uh, but this is made with uh, invert sugar and not high fructose corn syrup, regular corn syrup. Okay. Uh, this is a pure sugar product and. Um, this comes in a few varieties. These are coffee and a strawberry flavor, but really chocolate is where you want to be. And uh, this is what we're using for the egg creams today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got ooh. a little yeah, bubble. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we're gonna pop this open. I'll give this a little shake because we don't want globs of cream. But normally, uh, when my mom was growing up, they would get the milk delivered in a bottle, and the siblings they would all fight over the cream. Um, oh. So we're not gonna we're gonna spare you that here. Um, and let's do. Um, do you have a, a recipe? I, I, just, it's gonna be half and half. We're eyeballing it. It is half and half. If I remember correctly, half I used to make these in the Mongo. Up. Oh God, no, no. no you <laughs> bet is, is a normal. You're basically making uh, enough chocolate milk to fill the glass. Okay. But you're cutting the milk by half with the okay. seltzer. Uh, so you've never had that cream? Back in the day. Back in the day. Back oh, like, in the at day. Home, at home? Were you at so, a diner? So uh, our other friend, Courtney Pearlie. Okay. Yes. So she's from Long Island, and she worked at. Not place. here right now because she has a job. She has a job. She has a job. Okay. Uh, she worked at a place called uh, the Frigate in Port Jeff. Okay. And it was an ice cream shop. And so I was visiting shop, her yeah. in college mm -hmm. and she made me an egg cream. Yep. Often, so we're talking about 15 years ago. Wow. Oh, okay. oh you just saw that. You just saw that glob, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll put that in my glass. That's, that's what you're getting when you get an egg cream here. That's viscous. Okay. So we're going to do four ounces of milk and we'll do four ounces of seltzer and we'll give it a hearty stir. And I'm really excited. Do you want to top up this seltzer while we're doing this to get a little bit extra fizz? Sure. Since we are diluting it basically with mm. milk. So I think, and maybe that's a soda stream for egg creams on demand at home. Oh my goodness. I can't even comprehend how one of them. Mom, would you like one of these as well? A little one, a little <laughs> one for mom. Okay. Okay. All right. Farms. Yeah, it's been a while since I had this. This is a treat yourself kind of milk. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna go four ounces here. Now, can I just sne like sneak a little sip? Oh, take a sip of the milk. Yeah, I'll okay. top you up if you want. Is it good? That's good. Like you, I wouldn't use this milk in cereal. Oh, that's that's. Oh beautiful. wow. Yeah. Oh, and I goofed here. I goofed actually. Sorry. You gotta put in the syrup first, folks. Before you add this, you're supposed to end it with the seltzer. So Noelle's is gonna be much better than mine. Oh yeah, because you're you're ruining the bubbles. You're ruining the bubbles, yeah. Oh, but no. I've had a bunch of these before. I want to give you the good experience. Okay, I appreciate so. it. And you're just gonna you're gonna eyeball it until you get that nice. You want a chocolate milk. You're going for color. color. Yeah, color is the best indicator. Okay. Um, you could taste it, but I mean, if, if you're working by a cocktail bar or something, making these things, you're gonna probably go by sight. Maybe do a little taste, but you could also bust out a cocktail shaker, but that's that's not too much. And, um, Are they one of those milk frother things? That oh, you really use, and I would probably get up there as well. You have yeah. one of those at home as well? Nope. Okay. That is another, probably a single use kitchen appliance. Yeah. Okay, a little bit for mom here. 
Uh, did we add seltzer to both? Or? Uh, no. So no. this is straight chocolate milk that's okay. on its way. So I used to make these by the dozen at work. Really? And I just walk around and serve everybody. Yeah, we go through a whole UVet bottle in about two days. At your professional job? At my professional job, yeah. There's a lot of antics going on in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, previous episode, I alluded to using, we used to make like sriracha dips with the yogurt in the fridge. Oh. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so now we're gonna top you up with two ounces of seltzer. Okay. Still got that fizz, look at that. Love the fizz. And when you cap it, how long does the seltzer Days. 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 Wow. Because it's a pressurized and cap. That's a, yeah, that looks, yeah. I was going to say, that looks like a good cap there. Yeah, so I went okay. to Ireland for a week a and it was still fizzy. Oh, well, when you came back, it when was When I came fizzy. back, it was wow. still fizzy. Wow, that's that's impressive. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Do you need to like top yours off or something? Because you're lacking fizz. I'm lacking fizz, I'll top it off. Just like a little. I lost. You lost go. a little fizz there. Okay. Mine's a little bit darker. Let me okay. know if you need more chocolate syrup, but cheers. Cheers. So egg creams Pleasant. in the courtyard. Lovely. It's just carbonated chocolate milk. Yeah. And there's a there's a whole entomology about like where does the name egg cream come from? Mm-hmm. Do you know? And any actually, of it? I actually did a presentation on this for work. Of course you did. Of course I did. And uh, one of the Can one of the ideas. Yeah. Feel free. Um, ek creme. So it could be Yiddish, um, which just means like a, a good a good thing. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, some people think there were at one point eggs or egg yolks in it. <laughs> You're gonna be burping this afternoon. It's a smaller burp because it's loaded with the milk, but it's good. It's nice because you've got that whole mouth feel from the chocolate milk. Yep. But the tingle on the tongue from the seltzer. Yep. And you don't feel so bad. It's not as heavy as chocolate milk. Yeah. No, it's yep. a full mouth experience. This is often on the menu alongside milkshakes, which is oh. the complete other end of the spectrum. This is this is not gonna make you roll over and ah, drink too much. You might burp a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Mom, how is it? Very good. Okay. Well, do you have any final remarks here? Actually, let's, I let's feel like, are we going to rate them? Oh, should we? We should rate them. I feel them. like yeah, we should rate the let's bring, out, let's bring everybody out back out for another. You know, we did this. It's a fun little experiment. The shrimp is like, oh, I get to be on camera again? I didn't think so. Top of Chico and the vintage. All right, so let's let's start with the worst. What were you least impressed with? I mean, Pellegrino. The Pellegrino at the I, bottom. I can't, it's, it should not even be okay. considered a seltzer. Okay, but would you, for seltzer, but would you get this at a restaurant, would you have this with a, with a meal? If they don't have seltzer. If they don't have seltzer, okay. okay. If they're like, would you like still or sparkly? And I know we didn't review it, but uh, with uh, Perrier, do you, you like, do you Perrier? prefer? Perrier? That's, <laughs> that's why we've got the French Canadians with us. Perrier. 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 Perrier has a little bit more fizz than the Pellegrino. Okay. I mean, Pellegrino is baby step up from water. Okay, got it. I'm trying not to be so aggressive about it. And I know it. there's other there's other Italian minerals, mineral waters as well. Sure. But okay. All right. So at the bottom of the spectrum, then, and then what we say, what comes next? I mean, in terms I, of like which is the, the worst here? I love everything. So I think we're gonna keep Schwe I think we're gonna keep Schweppes where it is. It is. Yep. 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 Okay. I like the little dance on the tongue. Okay. I think that was good. But as a drinking seltzer, you're not gonna reach for this. I'm not gonna reach for that. Fair but fair. I liked a good fizz. Okay. Um. The problem is, I feel like these three are so the god tier, or is this? I mean, they are they're on their same. Can you level. do better than this if you're doing seltzer? I mean, for me, yet again, so homemade or homemade vintage topic. is the baseline. It, it's That's the best. Okay, but okay. honestly, I'm gonna say Topo Chico really did a run for the money. And now, now if we talk about CP value, cost performance value, mm. or CP as they say in Taiwan, uh, for 179, you're not. 170 for just that one Steve, bottle? For one bottle, yeah. That's okay. That that so, keeps it in that spot. Okay. I'm gonna go. This is my lineup. 89 cents, you can't go wrong. You can't go okay. wrong with and that. Then what, do you, what do you say this costs you all said and done with the, with the subscription plan? So the subscription our... plan is $24. Okay. And that gets me two CO2 cans, but that can last me about, I'm not good at math. It can last me about like a month and a half. So there's overhead, and we're thinking, there's overhead of these things. I do about four of these a day. Okay. Oh, so you're it's, even so easily pays for itself after your break even point maybe a yeah. month or two and my cousin gave me this so this exactly. was free and if so, you need one of these there's people in Hoboken you go to go on Facebook marketplace Craigslist everyone people buy these yeah. things and they're like oh it was too much for me Hoboken and buy they nothing get, they're giving them away yeah practically I've seen these things on the curb before yeah. it says still works and nobody yeah. takes it phenomenal so, 
Uh, I think so, people get into it, they realize they don't want to deal with the replacement. It's like it's inkjet, so inkjet printers, but it's easier than inkjet so printers. Easy. I don't know. It's the laziness of going to ShopRite and, you and get it. you get your vintage, which you yet again, I plastic. love. Yeah, but save the plastic. I, mean, I, don't, I don't have room for recycling in my apartment, you know? So do you agree with this lineup? Would you make some movements? I think, so. I think the tub, as far as like every day, I would maybe do this. Okay. Because um, I do enjoy San Pellegrino with a meal. Okay. Um, and there was a kick. Uh, Cindy does prefer this to uh, Perrier. 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 Uh, at one point, she was um, going through Perrier's like okay. water, which it, as yeah, it does. As it does. Uh, Tobo Chico. I get, yeah, this for buck seventy nine. I don't know. Uh, Seltzer, very fond of. Um, and these are close to me because I don't mm -hmm. know if I, like a small Hoboken kitchen. I don't know if I could dedicate the real. We already have a hot water heater and all yeah. this other stuff going and on. And if you're not drinking seltzer almost ex or exclusively, yeah. Yeah. so at the office, I get that. Yeah. Yep. I get that. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with this lineup, and yes. I think this is, a, this is definitely a mixer. If you're if you're throwing a little house party mm -hmm. and mixing up some cocktails at home, yeah, uh, grab some Pelicicos. Yeah, if cost was no function, I would have moved yeah. it higher. But and just maybe you can get this better. Maybe you get this cheaper at an ethnic supermarket because we were just downtown maybe. Hoboken. But um, I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but and then my personal favorite, the egg cream, delicious, it's delicious, loved yeah. it. All right, so uh, Jay McCullough and Noel Sonier. Sonier. Sonier, reporting live from the Adams, the Adams Street Courtyard. Cheers. Have a great day. Thank you. Wonderful. Yes. Oh, that's gonna be a great episode. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs>